Hey guys, online, this is Martin with Works for You LLC, and today we are here in Sedona, and I want to show you my new small little pizza oven from Big Corn I just got. I uh, read some instructions in the instruction manual, and uh, it was not very clear of how pizza making works there. And I tried out the first run, and uh, yeah, it didn't really work the way I wanted to. So I had to try a little bit around until I got my settings that work for me here in Sedona, in this elevation of 4,500 feet, in the dry desert climate. Uh, there's always a lot of things when you work with fire uh, you have to take in consideration. So here's our little tabletop pizza oven. I set it on the barbecue. This is how it looks like when you get it out of the box. You already see first improvement I had to make was I had to replace the wooden So handle. before I started to make this video, like I said before, I had to test it out a few times. You already can see there is some charcoal on the stone which easily can be brushed off. You get also a little scoop with it and your fuel actually is wood pellets. You can take them in different flavors. I prefer always the hickory or applewood or cherry wood. Now here on the back side we have actually where you put your pellets in. You fill it up to the top and you see there's a little bit left over from my last attempt and uh, just make sure uh, that you clean that tray out before you use it. On top of it there's a small feeding hole. This is where you can add during heating process more pellets to it. Uh, it's very easy like I said you got your little scoop there and with this scoop you just fill in as much as you need and that is the tricky part to figure out of how much do you have comes to do. with a tiny little handle. This handle can be used to open that one up so you don't burn your hands or to remove the tray. One other thing I discovered by putting the pizza oven together is that the door had a real tight fit and was not covering or slipping in easy and I actually had to use a hammer to adjust the siding so it slips in easier because you certainly don't want to fight a hot pizza oven to open or close the door. Just slide it in on the top first and then just close the lid. Now I do understand that I will have some critics out there that will point out, well, you're using a metal handle and metal will transport the heat. That is absolutely true. Uh, so far I made the experience with this thick handle I used and I didn't have anything else available when I was using it. So this was my fastest. Now the entire stove does not really open a lot. You only have 12 inches in the width, so this is your size, your pizza can gonna be, no bigger. And my recommendation is keep the pizza flat as possible so you don't get the entire heat off. For easier transportation, the top pipe mount dissembles and you can store all the parts inside the oven if you want to take it camping or wherever. So since you know all the parts now that belongs to the big corn tabletop pizza oven, why don't we just go ahead and start preparing a little bit of small pizza for our first trial. And everybody who cooks outdoors knows exactly what you do between two preparation steps. You gotta have a beer. This is the magic about outdoor cooking. Cheers. For this preparation today, I'm not going to go into the whole pizza making thing and how to make it. There's plenty of recipes out there. 
but we just gonna try i got that at safeway i ready to do go fresh dough uh, because i don't want to make my own dough today for this uh presentation here so that is good enough for two pizzas for that little oven so we created the simple 12 inch pizza and uh yeah we are ready to fire it up now we filled the tray up with uh, the fuel in this case we're gonna use cherry wood pellets and now you have to light them up i'm doing it outside here because it's just easier for demonstration but you can also do it inside and i show you then how to fire it through the feeding hole uh, you want to make sure that all the pellets start on fire so it gets an even heat and that is the important thing with it i use a bunsen burner for that Once it's lit up, you just make sure that everything is closed and it's starting to create the heat inside. And uh, we're gonna see, take a little bit of closer look then. Uh, so you can already see that the heat is coming through. Pretty soon you should see fire coming out here. And it goes all the way up here when it gets warm enough and hot enough. So it nearly reached the heat point. And you can see the smoke is dissipating. And actually flames are coming up here. And that's the perfect thing because what it does right now, it heats up the entire inside of your pizza oven and give it some time give it some good time so that the stone really gets hot that is the most important thing let the stone get very hot first so you can see the little flames in there coming up the pipe that is the hottest phase right now and the inside should really getting ready and you just wait until these flames go back down again because this would be too hot right now and you would burn the pizza Look at that nice little flame there, huh? Isn't that gorgeous? And it smells so good. So for demonstration purposes, I'll show you how it looks inside. You can see the flame. It's still on the ceiling. That would be too hot, so we wait. Once you see no more flames coming up on the pipe end and you see lightly smoke coming, that's actually the time where the temperature gets right. It should also, the flame go back to the back side a little bit. We wait a little bit here. So now we are just right. The the, there's just a slight flame on the ceiling and that's when we put the pizza in so the pizza is in and now we close it up again your turnaround time for the pizza is about one minute and it's a total of four but i always slide it around for 90 degrees that the heat 
is evenly distributed on the pizza. So as you can see here, it's getting nicely brown. It's also time to just to throw a few pellets in, uh, just a few. And as you can see, there's just few pellets, and that was not even, well, I would say not even a handful, create immediately a nice flame. Here we go. I like it a little bit darker. That's okay. I played a little bit too long with the camera. So, et voila. That's the pizza. Here it was perfect. That's why I had issues with my camera setup and that got immediately burned. So, you really have to pay attention when you do that and really keep it to a minimum. But what is the most Beautiful thing is, it is a perfect crust underneath. That's how pizza should be. So guys, I hope this was a little bit of helpful tip from my side for the big corn tabletop pizza oven. Uh, it's getting ready here. It will become a nice evening in Sedona. Time for dinner. And I'm gonna enjoy my pizza. Uh, quick heads up. Always keep in mind the pizza oven will get hot all the way around so if you take that out camping put it on a fireproof surface put rocks underneath it gets very hot underneath don't have dry grass out there or anything that can catch fire uh, this is also the reason why i for example welded my pizza oven to the barbecue because it happened to me that in the first run and the first test I was trying to open up the door. It was difficult to open up. The oven was hot. I had a fire in the back already going and the entire oven slid off my table and uh, could, of course, set everything on fire. Now, make sure that your oven is secured. You have it in a fireproof location and you have all precautions taken care of to prevent a wildfire.